Wanted to give you a quick walk around of my kitchen setup here for the CVT trailer that I've been building. I'll show you this and then at the end of this video, there'll be a quick build video on how I did it if you're curious about that. Um, again, not a expert builder, just a guy who knows how to, enough to get into trouble on this kind of stuff. But basically here's the setup. Uh, this thing slides out. This is sort of my kitchen side drawer, drawer set up here. Um, I'm still trying to decide where to put things, but I've got, you know, forks and things that I need easy access to headlamps and stuff like that would be in there. Um, I, I think if I could do this again, I would just build this section right here to be like a cutting board, actually like a plastic piece of cutting board that, that I could just have there right now. I'm using this to kind of prep all my food and do that there. I've got a little drawer that pops up here that I'm keeping, you know, uh, a little uh, USB charger here. This thing's USB charged, so whenever I need to charge it, I plug it in there. This is actually pretty sweet. It's a uh, automatic uh, light, so at night it just turns on, sees motion. I'd like to get one more and put it somewhere, maybe up underneath here, or whatever, because um, that was one thing that the, the light's coming out here, which is great. But I'm noticing that I'm not getting a ton of light here at night, so uh, I think I'll add that on maybe. So this folds down like this. I really love this setup because I can keep stuff up here, but then when I'm actually like, you know, you're making a sandwich or whatever, your bread's up here, you can, you know, do your, your dressing and stuff like that. This folds in here. So here's my water faucet. This is just piped in. There's a tube running in underneath there. The water's back in the back, as you'll see later in the video if you watch that where I put that. And basically it's just this quick touch button. Just push a button and it's pumping water. Uh, right into the sink. The sink's just a cut out um, sink that slides in. I will quickly show you how that slides out. It's really pretty simple. It pops off there. Tube runs out. That comes out there and then this just slides in like that. So then this when I'm done will slide back in there so I can slide it back into the uh, into the trailer. Pretty easy setup there. And then we'll come back around here for the last little part. And this is just the, I don't know, I kind of call it my, 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 my garage. So this is the fridge here. Um, and I just got the, I, I flipped it to this side so I'd have access to it here. This has been really nice to have this thing which was already here just to have access to a cooking service can take things out there put it in there I've got my goal zero 400 in uh, 400 in here and then just extra stuff you know like wipes and butane and uh, medical kit and stuff like that goes back in here kind of the garage and then if you come around this side you can see in here's I basically just have an access point where I can throw larger stuff tables um, chairs and then I put a couple bungees here to kind of keep it from sliding out. Um, and right now I've got, this is kind of cool, I've got this solar panel hooked up to this thing. Uh, solar panel sitting over here. And I've got it running. There's a, uh, there's a hole that I drilled on the side. I can't really see it right now, but, uh, and it just runs out here and I can move that around as I want. So, so far I've been super pumped about it. I mean, mostly I just don't have all the bins just laying on the ground like I used to and that was what I wanted to try to avoid so everything's kind of in here still have to kind of move some stuff out I still find that I use a lot of this space up here to just put stuff which is great this was this was great space before but it's even better now because I don't have to put like bigger things up here so overall great setup if you're interested in the build or any of that stuff uh, go ahead and keep watching the video <laughs> got the framework of one of the slides, the slide that's going to have the fridge out front, uh, kind of framed out, none of, none of the, if it's screwed in, and it's just kind of sitting here. I'm trying to determine now, like, I pull it out, do I want to have access to inside, um, inside the box, whether I put a, a shelf on the inside that runs across here, and then potentially, a, you know, a separator here. Uh, the slide's only 60 inches, and this is 60, I think 68 inches along there. I'm taking these uh, little L brackets and I'm putting them on the inside of my two side walls. 
Uh, so this is one of the side walls. It's on the inside of it. And I'm just putting three L brackets that I'm gonna sit a shelf on. And because this is something that I would do, I'm just gonna double check and make sure that this is gonna fit. Cause the whole point of this little section is so that my Yeti uh, 400 will fit in this spot here between the, on the shelf and the top. And it looks like I've got just enough room. So that's perfect. brackets up under there that I'm gonna have to screw in and then I'll do pocket screws around the sides and glue it but that'll be the inside of the box what I was trying to do is build one side of my slide out, the slide out that was gonna fit my fridge on it, because I knew that that was something that had to be built to a certain size in order for the fridge to fit. And then I was gonna essentially get a, get a dimensional you know, framework for, for how that was gonna fit in here. And then based on that, how that fits with the slides and all that stuff, I was gonna see then how big I could make the other slide, sort of the kitchen part of the two slide outs. So um, now that I've got that framed out, I'm gonna slide it in, at least get an idea of what it's gonna look like size-wise. I wanted to be able to re replace these Fox boxes that I've got with gear in it. So the goal here is to try to get um, a compartment there to store all the stuff that I've got in this and these Play-Doh boxes here. So I'm just a visual person, so I want to be able to like put them in here and see what what uh, what fits where and how, and then figure out what kind of access points I need to have on the side here. At this point, I'm just roughing out my cuts that I want to make here on the side of the kitchen side of things, where I'm gonna have some openings, put a couple of shelves. What I decided to do for uh, the side rails that the uh, drawer slides are going to attach to is get some of these slotted angles, uh, this metal piece here, and attach a um, four inch uh, piece of uh, half inch plywood to it. So it looks like that, and then it'll sit along the edge here uh, on the side, and then I will attach my, my slide rails to that. We have now put the rails on the side here. Those will be where we put the 60 inch slides. These are just uh, my 18 inch slides that I'm gonna probably use for another drawer on, on the kitchen side of things, but those will go all the way back there and run out. And then we'll, ha we'll uh, figure out where, once we put the, the uh, cabinet on this side, I'll figure out where these uh, other two need to go right in here. Drilling the holes for the center rail here. And I made this little piece here that will be the guide for both the right side and the left side. And I'll the screws through there. The 60 inch slides came today, which is very exciting. They are quite a bit larger and heavier than I thought they would be, so this will be interesting. Vidania 60 inch slide. Slides in here actually. And I'm gonna go uh, screw them into the side walls that I've set up. 
closing in on the finished part of the build and I'm going to just now be working on adding a little sink to it. It's totally a luxury. I don't really feel like I need this, but it's kind of one of those things where you start geeking out over like, hmm, that'd be kind of cool. You know, this is a little $16 water pump, essentially, like a faucet. Push this button here, theoretically. There we go, pumps water. Got some tubing here. This is like a protective coating for it. And then this water tank that I'm going to uh, put back here in this space that um, will hold the water and then I'll feed it, feed the tube through here onto the other side uh, where I've got this little holder for uh, this little sink. Running water, baby. So I drilled a hole in the cap and threw that little L in there. There we go. That's pretty cool.